Hello and welcome. You're watching Don Bosco Media Network. This is Abigail Karmalim bringing to you the Salesian news across the globe. On October 2nd, 1922, the first Salesians arrived in Perugia and began their mission of educating and training young people in the burg of Porta Sant'Angelo. That is why just last Sunday, on the exact centenary of their arrival, the city's Archbishop Monsignor Ivan Mafias presided over a solemn Eucharist in the Church of St. Augustine in Porta Sant'Angelo, during which he spoke words of profound esteem and great closeness towards the sons of Don Bosco. In my family experience too, the figure of Don Bosco carries with it a centenarian wave, began the Archbishop of Perugia. Faced with a problematic situation or one that required light, strength and courage, my maternal grandparents would gather their children together to pray a novena, kneeling around a statuette of the saint. A statuette that, together with episodes from Don Bosco's life, has crossed and united generations and that today pass on to me, is on the work table in the Curia. It is with this gaze that I am here to thank the Lord for your presence in Perugia. One hundred years is an important milestone testifying to God's faithfulness and the generosity of your response. How different the city and our church itself would be without your charism and your work. From the first activities on behalf of the needy and indigent to which you gave life in a poor neighborhood as Porta Sant'Angelo was, to the first oratory, the boarding school, the schools, up to the residence for young university students, the vocational training center, and the initiatives related to sports and leisure, first-rate educational and socialization to areas. For all this, our gratitude embraces the priests, religious, and lay people who have passed through the Salesian houses in Perugia. You have been to models of life, witnesses of Don Bosco's loving kindness, authoritative and beloved reference for so many. The Ofra Mamant Margaret Center, located in Lubumbashi, Democratic Republic of the Congo, received a shipment of rice meals thanks to a partnership between Salesian Missions, the U.S. Development Arm of the Salesians of Don Bosco and Rice Against Hunger, and international relief organization that provides food and life-changing aid to the world's most vulnerable. Bevon, age 14, is one of the youth who received the rice meals. He is an orphan living at the Magoni Salesian Boarding Centre and attends sixth grade at a primary school nearby. His dream is to become a builder. Bevont was happy to receive meals at the Salesian Centre and said, Since I have started eating, my health has improved due to the vitamins that are found in the meal. I like to eat it with my brothers and sisters in the community right after I rest and relax. Nicole Kasongo, organizational coordinator, reflected on what the rice meals meant to the community. There is a stability of young people in foster homes and solution centers, less dropout from classes, improvement in the health of young beneficiaries, motivation and joy on the part of young people, she said. How many young people for whom Don Bosco means growth, salvation, a turning point in their lives have been there? From the time of Valdoco to the present day, millions because the work begun by the Piedmonti Saint is still carried on in his name today. Yasin and Jimmy are just two of the many examples that could be reported. A few days after the conclusion of the International Congress of Salesian Works and Social Services, which reaffirmed the centrality and offered new impetus to Salesian action for the integral human promotion of the neediest young people, we share their stories of redemption to achieve thanks to the efforts of Salesians, lay people and volunteers of the Fundación Don Bosco, FDB of the Spain Mary Help of Christians, SMX province. Yasin Halim, a young man who received assistance in FDB's project, Bazetti, Holmes gratefully christened his recently opened hairdressing store in Santa Cruz de Tenerife precisely with the name Don Bosco. Why did you call it Don Bosco? A customer asked him as the young barber was busy trimming his beard. Because Don Bosco took me off the street, Yasin replied. Today, Yasin sees his dream come true and is proud to explain often why he put Don Bosco on the side of the place where he works and strives for professional growth. 
Jimmy Samuel, on the other hand, is a 21-year-old young man of Venezuelan origin who arrived in Spain not even two years ago. To speak with him is to listen to the story of a journey of continuous self-improvement in search of those opportunities he was denied in his country. His is a story of hard work, much work, perseverance and gratitude for the support and opportunities he has been given. Yesterday, as we celebrate Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, the Slation House of Theology had a Mass dedicated to the new academic year under the protection of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. It was presided over by the provincial of the Irish province, Father Yunan. The Salesian students of theology study with the opportunity of interacting with more than 15,000 young people in the University of Maynooth and St. Patrick's Pontifical University, Maynooth. On October 1st, at the Don Bosco Nyangi Youth Centre in Goma, the opening mass of the new school year was celebrated for students from all schools of the Salesian work. About 3,000 pupils participated together with their educators in the Eucharist presided over by Father Kizito Thembo, SDB, head of the Young Salesian community in Sasha and concelebrated by various Salesians. So viewers, with that, we have come to the end of today's edition. Till we meet again, thank you for joining us.